Hey ladies, we've had um, we've had a pandemic with sewing machine health during this time, and um, this is the number one problem that we're dealing with. So we're going to demonstrate it for you, so you can troubleshoot on your own. You wanna? And we're shooting this video because when you call us with this issue, we're going to send you a link to the video so you can watch the video and properly follow instructions. Um, and then if we have additional problems, we can go from there. But, uh, but the whole point of this video is to give you a visual representation of what you actually need to do to fix this problem that you call us about constantly. Every day. Are you zooming in here? Ready? Ooh, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Do you hear that clicking? Let's look at the backside and see okay. what's happened. I'm not going to use my cutter because that makes the problem worse. Wow, the top looks really bad. Oh, look at this backside. Oh my gosh. What, what is, is all of that? that? It must be something in my bobbin area. Oh, you know, the machine must be broken. I broke the machine. Oh, the tension's My off. machine doesn't work at all. Okay, ladies, there's a simple explanation for this. You have missed the take-up lever. So What is the take-up lever, Jeannie? Let's talk about the take-up lever. The take-up <laughs> lever, if you can zoom in there, is going to be that little metal thing that goes up and down. And the thing But wait, that... my thread's in there. <laughs> oh, but look, it's not. Do you see that? It's not in there. So when we talk on the phone and we say to you, I want you to look into your machine and tell me if there is thread in the take-up lever, we really want you to look in the machine and see if the thread's there. But I've sewn for so many years, I couldn't possibly make this mistake. I know, isn't that crazy? But every once in a while, we just go really fast and we miss it. Everyone misses the take-up lever. But how could I miss it 10 times? Because you did the same thing each time, which is probably not having your needle in the right position. So how do I thread my machine? So what we're going to do is you need to do your needle down, your needle up, okay? That means your needle's in the highest position, but guess what? It also means your take-up lever is in the highest position. Yeah, but it couldn't possibly be my upper thread because it was on the bottom of the fabric. The bobbin's messed up, Jeannie. Well, let's talk about that and what your take-up lever does. Your bobbin thread, your thread will come around here in the bobbin area, and your take-up lever goes down and grabs that and pulls it into a stitch. If you miss it, this is what happens. But it's on the bobbin side, so it's got to be the bobbin, Jeannie. But it really isn't. It's the take-up lever pulling that thread into a stitch. And if you miss it, then it isn't able to pull the thread into a stitch, and it loops on the back side of your fabric. So are you telling me if it's on the bottom of the fabric, the problem's on my top thread? Normally, if there's a problem on the bottom side, it's usually upper threading. And if there's a problem on the top side, then it's your bobbin area. Amazing! So let's go through the steps of threading your machine so that this won't happen and you can fix this on your own. So this happens, you hear a crunchy sound, you take your fabric out, and you have this mess on the back. First thing you should do is unthread the upper, uh, the upper threading. You're gonna do needle down, needle up to put your needle in the perfect spot. If you don't have that feature, you're just gonna roll your needle into the highest position and you're gonna make sure your take-up lever is where you can see it. I don't think they can see that. I don't think they can see that. You have to go straight. There it is. You see that metal thing? Wait, there it is. That's your take-up lever. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and thread. Now that I know he's there, I'm gonna go ahead and thread my machine. I'm going to go here behind that. Yeah, but my machine down. was breaking needles, so there must be something wrong with it. That will also cause you to break needles. It can cause you to break needles. It can cause a strike in your bobbin case. It can throw your machine out of time. So, But my cutter's not working, too. Well, if there's not a sufficient amount of thread, your cutter might not work as well. 
So it causes all sorts of problems, and it's such an easy remedy. Unthread, rethread. So now that I've rethreaded, before I start sewing, I'm going to peek in there and make sure that my thread is in my take up lever. There you go. Do you see? Let me see. There it is. You can, it's a little hard to see, but it's there. You guys see that? You see yep. me? Tilt your, your, there you go. It's hard to see it, but he's there. I'm pulling it right now, and you can see the thread is in there. And now we go to sew. And it sounds great. Let's look at this stitch. It looks beautiful front and back. And we have fixed your problem with your machine. And you do not have to call us or come in. You can fix that yourself. But what happens if I come in and you guys do this for me? Well, if we talk to you on the phone and on average, we spend probably... 15 minutes trying to convince you that you should just rethread your machine. So if you come in and we've said, hey, I'd like you to sit down, rethread your machine. I want you to peek into this step right here. Make sure that the thread is in there and you refuse to do that. We're going to charge you for our time. We had a gal that came down the other day, drove two and a half hours and we said, it sounds like the take up lever. Why don't you go ahead and rethread it for us? And they refused, drove down here, came in, Patrick rethreaded it, sewed with it, and it was perfect. And we brought it back out and they said, I should have just rethreaded. So we'd like you to rethread before you come down to see us. Thank you.